In September of 2015, Andrew Bird withdrew $13,000 from his savings account to invest in his business of making homemade mops. He entrusted the money to a gentleman by the name of Roger Williams, who was supposed to procure some materials from overseas in order for Bird to start his business. However, Bird said to date he has not received the items and he is still owed $8,000 from that agreement. I gave him the money on the 2nd of September last year. And up to today, I haven't received one scrap of material. And then when I spoke to him, I, I went to a lawyer, spoke to the lawyer, the lawyer write him a letter. He did not respond to the letter. But when I spoke to the, 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 the secretary in the prime minister's office, he went and paid $5,000. And presently now, he told me that he was going to, he said to the, to the lawyer that he was going to finish the payment on the, on the 4th of this month. But up till today, he hasn't turned up to pay the rest, the 8000 Andrew Bird has been in the business of making mops for 50 years and was employed at the White King Industries. Bird is not only visually impaired, but has a hearing impairment. He says he feels disappointed that someone will take advantage of him in his present condition. Well, when he didn't come, I, I was feeling broken down because I have everything set up. I could show you all that I have. I have my stamp. I have my my order book, I have the invoice, and I also have my receipt book. I have everything in stock, only waiting on the material to start. And up to today, I haven't received one scrap of it. GBN contacted Mr. Williams of Star Investment Limited for a comment on the matter. Although he declined to be interviewed on camera, he did give an explanation of what transpired with the business transaction between himself and Mr. Bird. He said after facilitating the ordering of the goods, he encountered a shortage with the shipment from the company in the U.S. As a result, he said he had to reship the goods back to the company abroad, who refuses to refund him the money paid for the goods. However, he did assure GBN that he will refund Mr. Bird the outstanding balance as soon as possible. Colin Campbell... GBN News.